Hi, I'm Bob Butler from KCBS Radio. Welcome to a forum of candidates running for the office of the Clerk Recorder and Registrar of Voters in Contra Costa County. Today's forum is sponsored by the Contra Costa County Elections Division, Contra Costa Television, and the West County and Diablo Valley League of Women Voters. We're recording these roundtables here in the studio of Contra Costa Television. Now our candidates, there are four of them, Vicki Gordon, Kristen Connolly, Nick Spinner, and Devin T. Murphy. We drew lots before the show to determine the speaking order, so we'll begin with Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy, why do you want to do this? Well, thank you so much for having me, Bob. Um, as you said, my name is Devin T. Murphy, and I'm a candidate for Clerk Reporter. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I want to do this, but I want to start by talking a little bit about myself and who I am. Um, I am the proud son of a mother who's a social worker and a dad who's an entrepreneur. Um, I am a second generation Contra Costa resident, and I also um, am, a fo I've been focused on civic engagement and civic technology really since the age of 16. I'm running for clerk recorder because I believe that Contra Costa needs someone who understands the landscape and embraces our diverse communities and understanding the landscape nationally, statewide, and of course, locally around elections. Um, with 12 years of civic and business experience, management experience, I believe I'm the best candidate to make that happen. And I know that right now, more than ever in our history, we need a clerk recorder who understands the ins and outs of both elections, but also making local government relevant to the needs of its people. And that means 1 million Contra Costa residents. I'm focused on doing this, and again, my experience both as a student body president at UCLA, as a small business owner, and as the current mayor pro tem for the city of Pinole highlights the reason why, again, not only am I the best candidate to do it, but my, my passion and expertise in doing it um, will allow me to succeed. Thank you, Devin. Kristen Braun Connolly, same question. Thanks so much, Bob. Glad to be here. I want to run, I want to be the next Contra Costa County clerk recorder um, and registrar of voters because I have the necessary experience, commitment, and passion around expanding voting rights, protecting our democracy, and making organizations thrive. For the last nearly eight years, I've been the president and CEO of the East Bay Leadership Council, which is a regional public policy advocacy organization that works on making it easier to start, grow, and stay, uh, keep businesses here in Contra Costa, which has allowed me to understand the breadth and depth of the diversity in this great county of ours. And that experience will help me take the important, um, the important services that this office provides, both running the elections and taking care of vital records um, and, and really serve the people. I have a, a long history of successful organizational development management skills that will really be put to good use. There's no question our democracy is under threat and um, I'm very interested in taking the decades of experience that I have in, um, in applying it to, to what we need to do here in Contra Costa. I went to law school starting nearly 20 years ago in the, in the wake of the passage of the Help America Vote Act, which was Congress's response to the Bush v. Gore um, decision and really trying to focus on what we need to do around election administration. And ever since then, through uh, multiple cycles of doing nonpartisan poll monitoring through the Election Protection Coalition, I've been very concerned about what we're doing. I'm an elected official here in Contra Costa. I'm proud to be the president of the Aqualani Union High School District Governing Board. And I know what it takes to represent people, to be effective in office and to make organizations work well. I have the experience it takes and the support, broadly speaking, bipartisan coalition of local leaders to really make sure that this office has the, the trust of the people and can do the important work we need it to do in 2022 and beyond. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Nick, you are already working for the county in IT, so why would you want to change jobs? Yeah, yeah I've been with the county for eight years. Uh, working as a systems engineer, I've, I've collaborated with a, a dozen departments, uh, making government more efficient and effective at serving the community. And, uh, you know, it's extremely fulfilling work. I'm very passionate about it. And I want to take it to the next level and run for office. And I also want to represent the people of Contra Costa County. Um, I've never run for office before, and I think I have a lot to bring to the office. Thank you. Thank you. Vicki Gordon. Bob, thanks for having us here this afternoon. Um, for me, I've always had a passion to serve, first starting um, as a, a teacher in the classroom 
and then moving on to 15 years on the Martinez Unified School District and eight more years on the um, Contra Costa Community College Board. While I was doing that, I was also very busy being a community volunteer and organizer. Um, last year, um, interestingly enough, I applied and was appointed by federal judge um, Felton Henderson to serve on the West Contra Costa Unified School District's Independent Redistricting Commission, where I was select chair. And I'm really proud of the work that we did on, on that commission. We um, made sure that the boundaries were fair and to ensure all voices were heard and to ensure fair elections. So I believe that um, I have the background experience and qualifications to be the next county clerk recorder. With that career education and the public manager, 23 years of elected oversight and management experience, I'm the only candidate that has a BS in business administration with an emphasis in human resources. I am a small business owner. And all these qualifications, along with my focus on outreach and education, match extremely well with the qualifications for the, for the job of the clerk recorder. Last, I am so fortunate to have been endorsed and encouraged to run for this office by former uh, clerk recorder Steve Weir, Weir, who knows this job extremely well and who knows that I bring the essential experience, skills, and integrity to the next county clerk recorder. Thank you. Thank you. Uh Nick, you already work for the county, as I mentioned, in IT. Are there things that can be done to make our elections better in Contra Costa County? Yeah, uh, most most of the things to, ma to make the elections better is really related to community outreach, not related to technology or security. Um, and, and it's really about hard work and getting out in the communities and, and getting people to participate and getting people to register. Um, that's really related to elections. Okay. Uh, Devin, you're on the Panola City Council, correct? Absolutely. And so how does that experience qualify you to be the registrar? That's a great question. Um, you know, I was elected in the city of Panola with the highest amount of votes of any candidate that has run for city council in the city of Panola. Um, that experience in itself demonstrates why I want to both reach out to more communities across Contra Costa County, but also my lived experience. Um, I'm a local leader, of, a local elected leader of a municipality. Um, as an African American, as the first black mayor pro tem of the city of Pinole, um, but also someone who grew in, uh, in, grew up in a working class family, I understand the challenges of those who are disenfranchised when they go to vote or try to get services from local government. And now as a mayor pro tem, my, uh, my, you know, my term has really been around reaching out to new community partners, building bridges, and also building unlikely alliances and efforts to enact the changes that we seek in the city of Pinole. Um, this brings me to, again, my additional experience. I've been doing voter registration and outreach work um, since I was, before I was even able to vote, Bob. Um, for 12 years, I have civic and business management experience in terms of managing staff, developing strategic goals, resolving organizational and operational concerns, and of course, creating strategies to improve efficiency, efficiency both in the public sector, but also the private sector. My role as mayor pro tem of the city of Pinole is centered to doing that in my own city. And it's now time for me to bring that experience and those core competencies to the rest of the county. Because frankly, Bob, I believe that we deserve that type of leadership. I believe we deserve to bring out the best and all our employees and all the folks who actually walk into the clerk recorder's office with needs of services. Kristen, with your experience, uh, East Bay Leadership Council, the Economic Partnership, uh, what other things do you think you can bring to this job as a clerk recorder? Because it's, it's not just about elections, it's also about making sure that the, the county is responsible for people when it comes to birth and death records, things like that. Right, right. No, it's so true. The, the experiences that I have had um, as an attorney, I used to practice employment law um, in New York and also as an organizational development consultant where literally I was getting paid to make organizations like the HIV vaccine enterprise uh, work better um, are really applicable here. Contra Costa, this, this department has a long history of terrific customer service. 
whether you're going in to get a birth certificate, you need to record a document, um, or you need to get registered to vote in the office, things work really well. And I think that I have the kind of leadership to support the hardworking staff that worked tirelessly throughout the pandemic, kept their doors open, were essential workers, um, to give them the leadership they need to, to really take their work to the next level. I was out talking to voters this week in San Pablo and was, you know, had a great discussion because folks wanted to know what we could do in the office to make sure that they are better served because they are an underserved community, primarily brown and black folks live in there and they really wanted to know what can you do to bring these services out to us. And that was the nature of the conversation. I said, we can do a better job and should be doing a better job bringing the services out into the community. My decades as an advocate will help me work closely with the county administrator and the members of the Board of Supervisors to make sure that the department gets funded at the level it needs to do the work that it needs to do to protect our democracy. Yeah, Vicki, do you think, I asked this of, of, of uh, Nick, do you think there's something that we can do in the recorder's office to make it more responsive to uh, the voters? Do you think, right now Contra Costa is one of those uh, counties that wants you to vote by mail more than anything else. Do you, do you think that's a good idea? Do you support that? Would you expand that? So right now, um, our, our elections department is getting very favorable um, response from the community. There are some fears. I think those fears are, a, a, um, are planted seeds of mistrust or distrust from sources that aren't reliable. So I think that's one of the things that we really need to focus on. Um, and that's one of the, the things that I, my experience, I bring a unique perspective as a classroom teacher. We've got to get out into the community. We've got to educate people on the issues and we have to listen to what they're saying. Right now, um, it starts with voter registration. We need to make, ensure that our voter rolls are updated and maintained. Um, we do that on, on a fairly regular base, basis. In January, I noted that the, the, the uh, voter reg was about 708 thousand, it's now down to 703,000, 100,000, sorry, 100,000. Um, and so those are, uh, we start with registration, we go out and we register people to, to vote and we, we educate them on the good job of the security that we're doing with our elections. We have to have a um, test, um, accuracy and logic test for our machines on every big election. And we have to send that report into the state secretary of state so we're using a lot of tools. I think the thing that we need to do more is to do e outreach. There is the elections uh, citizen engagement group. I would like to grow that group, um, increase it, and get key stakeholders in the community so that they can help um, get more information and accurate information out to the community while also using a, a mo our mobile pop-up unit. That is a great tool to go out to to schools and communities and nonprofits. And with my extensive network in K-12 and community colleges, it just is right up my alley. Nick, do you think there's anything more that can be done as far as voter registration? I mean, you're, a, you're the IT guy, and I'm thinking in terms of electronic means of doing that. Well, what do you think? Yeah, I, so in, in California, we have automatic voter, re, voter registration at the DMV. And uh, you have to actually work not to get registered if you get a, a driver's license or an ID at the at the DMV. And uh, so the really the communities that are left out of voter registration are communities that don't get driver's license or IDs, and and they're communities that are not necessarily going to be reached by technology. Um, so it's really going out to those communities in person, uh, having registration drives. Um, and things like that. That's that's really how we're going to increase registration, voter registration. Yeah, that automatic voter registration uh, has been come under fire from some from some some quarters by saying, "Hey, we're registering people that aren't qualified, that aren't citizens." Do you know anything about that? I, I don't know anything about that, but with with my technology background, I, I am not at all concerned about that, to be honest. Uh, Devin. Same question, you know, were you concerned? I mean, people are complaining that automatic voter registration uh, has flaws. That's what, that's the allegation. What do you think? Yeah, you know, Bob, I, what I believe is that we have to do more to ensure that people who are eligible to vote and eligible to register to vote get registered. 
Um, I told you about at the beginning, I'm a civic technologist. I've worked with government agencies as well as nonprofit organizations um, to help them strategically grow. And I've done this again prior to for the last 12 years of my life. And I've continued to do it because I know that as much as we do have this kind of, um, you know, these uh, conspiracies around voter fraud, what we have more of, what we lack more of is the recognition that the same communities we're seeing in Contra Costa County, young people, people of color, and people with di who are dis with disabilities and who are differently able are still not getting registered to vote. It's because they're not getting uh, they're not being targeted with the real core messages as well as the people who understand how to make them register to vote and how to connect that. In 2018, I was appointed Bob to, by the Harvard Ash Center for Democratic Governance and Innovation, where I, I where which was focused on identifying ways to innovate the use of technology to help government be more effective and responsive. One idea I have as your next clerk recorder is to implement a civic education core program to deepen the impact of voter outreach and education right here in our communities. We've got a long way to go to educate people and give them the tools, whether they're techno technological or simply the understanding of the processes to make an impact and to deepen their commitment to their own involvement in local government. Thanks. If you were to be elected, would you give up the city council seat in Pinal? You know, Bob, I've I've had this question before. Um, I would be absolutely committed to serving as clerk recorder if elected. Um, it is my understanding that I would be able to serve in both roles and I think I would be able to do that. Vicki, uh, given your background, you said that you already have the, the connections to be able to register more people. How would you go about doing that? Uh, well, thank you, Bob. I would use a mobile unit to go to more of the schools, especially the high schools, and, in, and include our alternative high schools in that. We can pre-register 16 and 17-year-olds. They're really excited about getting their, their um, permits and their driver's license. Let's get them excited about getting their uh, registered to vote. And if we get them young and we get them in the habit then we have them for life. And we don't have that kind of issue or problem as we go on. They will be voting and making it a regular habit. I think um, the vote by mail, um, it's interesting. I'm a data person, I wanna see the data, but vote by mail is going to have an impact. Um, the special election for the recall was 65%. And of that 90% of them uh, cast, their bail, uh, cast their vote by mail. And so we are, we are entering some interesting times, um, but again, um, getting those young students, getting into those communities and building trust with those communities of, of underserved and BIPOC populations um, is key to then getting um, further registration for our, all of our citizens. Thank you, sorry about that. Kristen, uh, yes, registering 16 and 17 years, pre-registering them is good. How do you make sure they actually vote? You know, that's, it's a, and I, I'm a mother of a 17 year old, almost 17, he'll be 17 in June. And, and as a, as a school board member at the Aklani's district, I am blessed to spend a lot of time with teenagers and to be focused on that age group. It's about making it relevant and making it accessible, right? And so it's about understanding that the, uh, we need to really be clear with our messages about how to vote, all the different ways you can turn that ballot in. Um, you know, we are trending toward, you know, upwards of 95% vote by mail could not be easier. We're real fortunate to live in California where we're trying to make it really easy to vote. We want to, you want to communicate with young people the way that they communicate, right? And that means on text, that means with TikTok, that means in these innovative ways, um, you know, Snapchat, right? There's a significantly more Snapchat users than there are Twitter users. And so it's about understanding, communicating um, to, to, to people because, um, you know, more and more people are delaying getting a driver's license. A lot of folks don't want to drive because they think that contributes to climate change. And so we really want to take those efforts where the office has, you know, been reached out. I think in 2018, they highlighted working closely with three high schools. We need to scale that up across all 18 school districts across Contra Costa um, and make sure that we're reaching um, all of the, particularly where we have lower voter turnout, right? We have an 83% um, voter registration generally, but let's let's unpack that and see where where they where they need to go. But to your point about making it count, 
the thing is that election results matter. And I think you can really, and that makes sense to young people. Um, and so we wanna make sure that they know that all their votes count and that they need to show up and participate to make that happen. Um, and so, but it's about communicating with them in a way that makes sense. Well, thank you so much to our candidates for answering some of these important questions. We ran out of time. We've never enough time to do something like this because the information is so important. But each candidate now has two minutes to make a closing statement. And we'll start with uh, Vicki Gordon. Thank you again, Bob, for allowing us to speak here today and everybody else involved. We know it's a lot of work. We had little glitches. It's um, an evolving and learning process. But um, we, have a, we have a responsibility to the future of our democracy to ensure that the integrity of our elections and the care of our vital records. Um, my vision for when I'm elected is to build those relationships um, and build on the things that we're doing well already. Easy to follow and transparent um, trail of ballots, um, expanding voter outreach and education with my extensive network, networks in K-12 and community colleges, expanding voter registration new citizens and underserved, while also protecting um, our vital records against cyber, cyber attacks and misinformation and ensuring transparent elections. I also um, want to increase green technology and sustainability uh, with best office practices. I hold myself to the highest levels of fairness, integrity, and transparency, and impartiality. Um, we need a leader who can think creatively to solve these issues, and building partnerships, relationships, consensus. And I was so fortunate to be encouraged for the, to run for this office by former clerk Steve Weir, who knows this job well and knows that I can do the job. And I would be honored today to earn your vote and you can join me um, at my website and my campaign at vickygordon.com. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Nick Spinner. Hello. For the last eight years, I've served the county as a systems engineer. I've collaborated with nearly a dozen departments to make government work better. In this time, I have gained a unique understanding of how the county operates and how to get things done. I work directly with county staff every day to identify and solve problems affecting the county's ability to efficiently and effectively serve the community. I have also been personally involved in county cybersecurity. Just in the last week, the county announced a data breach containing sensitive information of members of the community. County leadership had the opportunity to implement security measures that would have prevented this breach, but they chose not to because it was just too much of a disruption. The county should never even consider gambling with your personal information like that. With my background, I understand the importance of security, and that is why I plan to prioritize security first approach in the clerk recorder's office. I'm the only candidate running for the right reasons with a passion for local government and serving the community. I'm not a politician just trying to gain political power or planning to use this as a stepping stone to a higher office. It is my passion for serving the community that has motivated me over the last eight years and is also why I'm running for this office today. As we consider candidates for this office, the most important thing is that we elect a clerk recorder that can remain neutral when overseeing elections. I'm running to represent all of the nearly 1.2 million people that call Contra Costa County home regardless of background, economic status, skin color, or political affiliation. I'm going to win this election not only because of my background working for the county and my passion for serving the community, I'm going to win because I'm one of you, a hardworking member of the community who goes to work every day so I can pay my bills and feed my family. The voters of Contra Costa County are tired of politicians in office who do not honestly represent them. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Kristen Connolly, two minutes. Thank you so much to the League of Women Voters, to Contra Costa TV, and to the Elections Division for hosting today's forum. I really appreciate the opportunity to participate. I want to emphasize that I've got five principles, really, that I've been focused on in this election, um, and that is transparency about the a process so that there's high degrees of trust in our elections. I want to make sure that we're expanding access to voting so that we're making sure that people are registered who are not yet registered and that we bring people into the process to really make sure we keep our government representative. A representative. Um, I want to maintain the integrity of the voting process and an accurate vote count 
It's really, really important we keep that tradition going. And we also, though, need to make sure that we're guaranteeing the safety of our and the security of all of our vital records, not just the elections information, but the vital records that the office also handles. And I also think it's important to focus on preparing for a natural disaster and making sure there's continuity of service for the important work of this department in the event of a natural disaster. I have the experience as a nonpartisan policy person, as a nonprofit CEO, as a former attorney, and an elected school board member to make sure that this office is led with the ethics, the integrity, and the, the skills needed to make sure that we stay on track. I'm proud to be endorsed by the East Bay Times that highlighted my management experience. I'm proud to be endorsed by Congressman Mark DeSonier, as well as Assembly Members Rebecca bauer Cahan and Tim Grayson, as well as dozens of local elected officials, council members, and mayors from across Contra Costa to, um, so who support my, my campaign. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kristen. Devin Murphy. Well, thank you so much for having me, and thank you to Contra Costa Television and all the partners that put this together. It's time for Contra Costa to embrace our diverse communities, and it's important for us to elect a clerk recorder who understands the local, state, and national landscape of election administration. The clerk recorder's office, as it's been mentioned, has a huge role in every regular working people's lives, including being the nucleus of our county for vital records. My lived experience, my work in civic technology, my work as a business owner, and of course, my understanding of this community makes me the best person to be the next clerk recorder. Here's what I bring. As I mentioned, I bring developing strategic goals. I've helped organizations resolve organizational and operational concerns. I've helped folks create strategies to improve efficiency, both in the private and public sector. And of course, I focus on bringing out the best in employees so that they feel appreciated. And of course, that our customers and our, our residents feel respect and dignity. I'm running because I believe that I have a five point plan, increase voter access and protect voting rights, transparency and community engagement, fiscal stewardship and participatory budgeting that allows residents to understand the budget of the clerk recorder's office, transformative civic education to get to those community members who are not yet registered to vote or who are not, who are not voting as often as they can. And of course, happy Earth Day to everyone. I truly believe that the clerk recorder as a county administrator has a role in building a more sustainable clerk recorder's office and ensuring that we, as, as that office, is also enabling climate action um, like we have to do across Contra Costa County. As a local leader and as mayor pro tem of the city of Pinole, um, as well as someone who was raised by a social worker as a mother and an entrepreneur as a dad, I know about regular working people and the challenges we faced. But I've turned my otherness and my life experiences into an asset for all people. This life perspective has brought me to become passionate and understanding of those who are most disconnected from the voting system. And I'm uniquely fit to serve the role as clerk recorder. And that's why Congressman John Garamendi, California State Treasurer Fiona Ma, Come on, man. former mayor. <laughs> two two minutes. <laughs> okay. Thank you I so know much. It's, I know it's hard when you don't have a clock right in front of you, but we do want to keep it, keep it, keep it tight. Concludes okay. our forum for the candidates running for the office of clerk recorder and registrar of voters in Contra Costa County. Um, normally we do these to make it easier for you guys to make a vote, but I don't know. Each one of these candidates brings something that would be beneficial to the county. Our candidates are Vicki Gordon, Kristen Conley, Nick Spinner, Devin T. Murphy. For more Thank information you. on the candidates, visit the League of Women Voters website, votersedge.org CA. To view this broadcast online, go to www.cocovote.us. I'm Bob Butler from KCBS Radio. Thank you for watching and don't forget to vote on June 7th.